I was, he was had a Megan bed. I don't know if you know what a Megan bed, but it's like a massage bed. bed. And it's like a very expensive massage bed. You have your clothes and, on? Yeah, but you had a recent, had your clothes on. So it's, it's coming to good, good use. But um, it was the most expensive stay I ever had because after we had to buy this Megan bed, I think we used it three times in 20 years. Right? <laughs> um, and now Lisa, Blaine's daughter, is using it for her clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get the connection there. Well, this is Blaine's daughter, Risa. So everybody, take, everybody, take, everybody take, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so everybody, take a rich breath in, just for a second, and just fill up, and for just a second, think about Blaine. And, and I think everyone in this room must have some incredibly funny story about Elaine. But I bet everybody has the same thought. There's no one like him. He is truly an original. And, I was, and with the opportunity to talk about him for a minute, I started to think, well, what a great window of opportunity to, to bring out the couple things that I think makes Blaine such an extraordinary human being. The first is he is the most humble person I've ever met. Now, a lot of people think humility and confidence don't go together. You can't be confident and be humble. You can be very confident, and Blaine is confident. All right? Because being humble doesn't mean you think less of yourself. It means you think of yourself less. And that is Blaine. He's always thinking about you. He's always thinking. If you tell him you're interested in lighthouses, you're going to get 7,000 articles of Blaine. <laughs> and the real beauty of his humility is only those who are humble are lifelong learners. Because only those who are humble are always looking to learn something new. And that's really d defines Blaine. He loves to give credit. Uh, and and it, when, it's amazing what's accomplished when nobody cares about it, gets the credit. And he loves to give it. So humility is the first thing that I think sets him apart. The other is humor. Uh, and we all, you know, if you think of Blaine and you smile, and the best part about Blaine is he laughs at himself. And I, I have so many stories, but the one that sticks out I got to share with Cynthia. Uh, and we went to ACT, Asheville Community Theater, uh, to do this, uh, to, to watch Blaine in a production that was called Asheville Business Does Broadway. Uh, and there's a number, the number they were doing was All That Jazz. Uh, and, let me say that the choreography, they didn't have a lot of rehearsal. <laughs> so the choreography was rather loose. It was, like, it was like everybody went in a different direction. And we're watching Blaine, and he's like Tom said, doing a few jazz dances here and there. And they're singing the song and all that jazz. And I'm looking at him for a minute, and I start to notice he knows none of the words <laughs> except one, which was jazz. So he's going along and he's going, Jazz! <laughs> Jazz! And so I elbow, I elbow over there. Cynthia next to me, I go, I don't think he knows the words. And we start looking at him, and yet yeah, every so often he draw up, Jazz! <laughs> we were laughing so hard that we honestly fell out of our chairs on the floor of ACT. But the best part was when we got done, uh, we went out to dinner, and I called him on. I go, Blaine, did you know the words? And he goes, and he started laughing at himself. And he started laughing so hard that he started getting tears in his eyes. <laughs> but when you laugh at yourself, you help the world lighten up instead of tighten up. And Blaine is always looking to bring a little lightness into life. I, he's one of my, my great heroes in life because of humility, because of lightening up instead of tightening up. And I thought the most appropriate way to bring this thing to a close is to give him the honor that he would love more than any other. So I need everybody to stand up for a second. During the all-time record holder for Tony performances, it's finally time to give Blaine a true, blow it out of the building, standing ovation. Let's do it right now, come on. So when Mark was in um, Young Frankenstein, I had a role in that, and it's a role I could handle because I had one line. I could handle one line, and one line was ah. You know, I fell off the gurney, and I said ah. And that's, that's my kind of role. So anything more than one line, I'm out of there. <laughs>
Anyway, I'd like to thank you all for uh, being here. It's a real thrill for me. I'd also like to thank my beautiful bride. Can you come up? Today and so many different kinds of people I know, which is great. You know, theater folks and and um, score folks and you name it, folks. They're there, and I look around and I, it's kind of neat. I can you know see everybody in a story of how I know you and how I've done something with you, and, and it's meant so much to me. And, you know, hope we'll have another I won't say 75 more years of this, but <laughs> hope we'll have enough, enough other years. Um, and he's the best thing that ever happened to me. Aww. who, as I tell people, and I'm so glad that Leanne is now using the same line and, and Brent, but, you know, when um, we talk about how long I don't know, Cynthia.